If you're watching this video during February, then make sure you stick around to the end because I'm going to tell you how you can join the remaining two giveaways that are happening this month. And I'm also going to announce the winner of today's giveaway and then tell you about the prize for next week's giveaway. So don't stop watching till the end. It, you really want to stick around. You'll notice that today my setup is a little bit different. I have a computer here and I'm at a desk and that is because I'm going to be watching some videos of some of you playing the harp and showing some of the progress that you've made in your harp playing from using my video courses. So I'm really excited because I was thinking about this analogy of um, people, when I see people running. Um, now I am not a runner, but I always find it really inspiring to see other people running. <laughs> if I go for a drive or I'm walking around the neighborhood and I see people huffing and puffing and running around the neighborhood, it always makes me feel like um, just inspired to do hard things because to me running is one of the hardest things you can do. But I always find that the most inspirational is when I see somebody running who either is, does not seem like they're a very fit person so they're currently having to really struggle to keep on running or when I hear about somebody who used to be really unfit and it was hard for them in the beginning and then they persisted and now they're running beautifully um, for me it's not when, when I see like someone on in a race running so beautifully that's not as inspiring to me it's the normal people and their story of persisting even when it's hard that really keeps me feeling inspired when I see a runner. So that's what I want to show you with today's videos. We're going to see some normal people like you, some of them who have been teaching themselves to play for a long time um, and needed some inspiration and some guidance. Some of them who were starting from the absolute beginning of their harp playing. And we're going to see how these people are progressing, how they're getting the encouragement that they need. And hopefully it's going to inspire you with your harp journey too. Let's have a look at how Brandy learned to play. So this is Brandy from Pennsylvania, US. As an adult beginner, I felt intimidated, insecure, and overwhelmed when I first got my harp. I found Christy Lynn's YouTube videos, which set my soul at ease. That's, that's a cool term. And made beginning to play easy and fun. That's how it should be. I started learning with Christy Lynn's beginner YouTube series, Start Here, which ended with the video course for the song After the Rain. I was so happy with the clear, effective instruction, encouragement, and joyful teaching style she offered. Yay! And was playing my first song within days. Go Brandy! <laughs> From there, I progressed through the video courses in order of difficulty, and I not only learned everything I needed to know to play the harp through beginner level up to intermediate level, but I learned good technique and posture, finger placing and playing hands together, how to practice, how to follow rhythm, and a wonderfully effective way to learn new songs. Another very helpful part was how learning from Christy Lynn is stress-free and inspiring. That's good. We want it to be as stress-free as possible. It motivated me to keep going and not to be hard on myself. Important. I was able to simply enjoy the process and grow my love for the harp with each lesson. Seeing my progress was the best feeling. Learning from Christy Lynn's effective lessons as an absolute beginner has given me an excellent foundation for playing the harp as a lifetime practice. So Brandy has done something really wonderful and she started filming herself from her very first harp piece. Um, and she told me, she didn't say it here, but I remember from before that uh, Brandy told me she couldn't read sheet music before. And I think that this was her first instrument that she'd ever learned. And she's learned to play the harp exclusively from my courses. So I've actually seen some of her videos already, um, but her latest one I haven't seen yet so I'm really excited to see and you'll see the dramatic progress that Brandy makes through these videos and she's just implementing everything and going up in complexity it's it's really cool I think we'll actually put a link in the cards to um, Brandy's playlist of her 10 pieces her first 10 pieces learning to play the harp from my video courses and you can see how she progressed in each one but this is her first piece after the rain She always puts so much effort into her outfits and everything. It's a pretty good hand position for her very first piece. She's placing her fingers together. She's plucking into the palm of her hand. Her elbow's in a good position. 
She's sitting side saddle, which is not what we normally recommend, but I think it's to make an elegant video. Very good. And she's got very good rhythm here. Um, Brandy's actually playing with a lot of fluency and you can tell she's really confident in what she's playing. And that's, that's her first half piece. Uh, I'm so impressed. Beautiful smile. Okay, Sailing on a Lake, this is her second half piece. She's adapted it for her small harp, very good. Very nice, she's placing three fingers at a time really confidently, plucking down into her palm, her elbows away from her body. I mean, everyone has slightly different opinions about harp technique, but from my perspective, I think her technique looks beautiful. I would just say to Brandy, um, to that if you're twisting like that with your legs on the side of the harp, over time you might get a bit of um, back pain or you might get a bit unbalanced. I mean, it, it, she actually looks very good the way she's doing it, but hopefully it's just for videos. Um, but it, for her to find a way to balance that harp in between her legs while she's practicing would be really good and more sustainable in the long run. Okay, let's have a little look at Brandy's most recent piece. I just counted up on my fingers and <laughs> I figured out that at this point, Brandy's been playing for five and a half months. Um, so let's see what it looks like. So she's gonna be playing Over the Rainbow, which is an early intermediate piece. Um, she she put, even put in her video, it has lever changes. And oh, she's on a different harp now, harpsicle. Oh, so this is really great to see that um, she has her harpsicle on a stand and so she's actually got it in front of her in a good position. She's no longer sitting side saddle, so that's nice. I didn't even need to say those things. She already fixed it. <laughs> oh, she's made her own introduction. Go Brandy, she's getting very creative here. Lots of floating. Beautiful fingers plucking down. Nice tone. Okay, so um, if you've seen a lot of different videos of people playing harpsicles, you'll know that the sound of the instrument really changes depending on how the person plays it. And I know harpsicles well, so I can tell you that Brandy's doing a really good job of squeezing those strings and getting a nice tone out of it. Because a harpsicle, if you play it with um, like more plucky or um, in a different way without the technique that Brandy's playing, you wouldn't get that depth of tone. So well done Brandy, you've come so far. Um, I, I just want to see her doing the lever change, so let's fast forward a little bit. Good overlapping brackets. One thing I did notice when she was doing all of those overlapping brackets there um, is as Brandy gets more and more experienced with overlapping brackets like that, she will be able to place just a little later each time and you'll hear more of a ringing sound. At the moment, um, it's really good when you're starting out with your overlapping brackets to place in advance a little bit more so you'll hear the stopping sound like dun, 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 dun. but as she uh, places a little later and she's more confident or she's very confident now but as she's more experienced with overlapping brackets you'll start to hear da, 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 da. it will be a bit smoother in the um, in the sound that you get from the harp but really um, for where she's at this is absolutely brilliant and I'm so proud of Brandy. So she said that she's learned exclusively from my video courses which is just incredible to me. I mean I, I record these things, I put them out into the world, I do my very best to give you all the information you need but when I see videos of people really putting in the effort to um, do everything that's required of them in the video courses and get these kind of results it just really excites me so well done. 
The next person we're going to watch is Rebecca Jackson. She's from North Carolina in the USA. And Rebecca said, how did Christy Lynn's video courses help me to learn and grow? Well, for one thing, her bubbly personality helped me to fall in love with playing the harp again. <laughs> That's great. I love how she breaks down the song in sections and thoroughly teaches you step by step by learning the pieces with the correct fingering and hand positions. But mostly I love how she encourages you along the way, which really builds up your confidence. That's what I like to hear. <laughs> Um, she says, I feel, I now feel a lot more confident in my playing and it feels really good to play a song without a lot of pauses. Christy Lynn's videos are well worth the money and I love that I will always have them when I need them. Even to just listen to her bubbly voice can brighten up the day. <laughs> I have heard people say before that they put my videos on to just play in the background and keep them company. <laughs> I wouldn't play my videos like that, but maybe that's just because it's my own voice. But I'm glad it was encouraging for you, Rebecca. And let's have a look at how she was playing. So this is quite early on in her harp playing. Um, Rebecca said that um, this was when she had been playing the harp for a couple of years, but she was self-taught. Um, she, she said that in this video, she had poor hand position and her fingers were not pointing down. Um, so let's have a look. So it's not the, the easiest angle to see what her fingers are doing. Um, but let's have a look. is as bad here as she thought I mean we can always improve our technique but I've seen a lot worse let's see how it gets a little later on in the piece I mean she could be um, like really get a deeper tone out of her harp playing. I, I think the the main thing that I want to help her with here is to, she's leaning over quite a bit and she might get a sore back. Um, but you're actually doing pretty well here, Rebecca. Let's see how she's doing now. Okay, I can see this video um, is from the side so we can see her right hand nicely. Let's have a look at that. <laughs> So what we see here with Rebecca is, yes, there's definitely some improvement in her technique. Her fingers are coming down into her hand more than they were before. But I think the biggest change in Rebecca is how much joy she's been expressing with her harp playing. She's sharing videos of herself with the new pieces she's learned all the time um, online, on on Facebook mostly, but also with our community. Um, yeah, she said that she's just fallen in love with her harp again and I think that's the most exciting thing I see with Rebecca so it's not always about things that we've changed with our technique but um, are we having fun and are we motivated to keep learning with our harp playing so well done Rebecca for that the next person we're going to have a look at is Jemberly from the Philippines let's see what she said she said using Christy Lynn's losing Christy Lynn, using Christy Lynn's video courses is like having a teacher who guides the student in learning how to play songs in a way that makes learning easier and faster. Before I took a month to learn a late beginner piece and now I learned a mid intermediate piece in only two weeks. That is fast. It's not only learning how to play the songs, but also the techniques and skills needed to be a good harp player. With Christy Lynn's constant reminders on the proper hand position and how to pluck, I am really improving my technique. I now feel more confident in playing the harp than I was before because there's now a teacher who's guiding me. It's so nice when people really feel that connection of there is a teacher guiding me through, <laughs> which is how it's supposed to feel. These video courses help me be more courageous to try harder pieces because I know Christy Lynn is there to guide me and I can watch them again and again to learn the parts I have difficulty with. 
Um, so yeah, of course, it's not exactly the same as taking lessons from a teacher. It, it can be useful to check in with the teacher if you want specific feedback, um, but it's really great to have that feeling of really going through a piece with a teacher in the video courses. So let's have a look at Jembley playing Sally Gardens, which was three months into her harp journey. <laughs> Looks like her daughter in the background. <laughs> her daughter really wants to be on camera. Next, we should tell her next time to um, to do a little dance in the background. If she's going to be on camera, she may as well add to the performance. <laughs> um, let's have a look at one of these after videos. She sent two, so let's have a look at perfect. <laughs> she's doing with a small harp. This piece was not even written for such a tiny harp and and she's not letting that stop her at all. Okay so Gemily is doing so well. She's come so far in six months. Um, I think that's brilliant. The complexity of this piece is, yeah, it's it's a t challenging one. And she's actually adapted the piece to fit on her small harp. And yeah, she's approaching pieces with so much confidence. I can see that um, her hand position is improving. Her fingers are coming down a bit more. Um, I think that it will continue to improve as she continues doing more and more pieces. But we, we do sometimes go through stages of um, wanting to learn more and more complex pieces. And then when we, we get to a point where, oh, our technique can't actually quite support the complexity of that piece. And then we go back and uh, tweak a few things about our technique. So we're never completely there. There's always going to be more to improve on, but Jembley is doing so well and having a lot of fun. So that was great to see so much progress in just a few months. Well done, Jembley. I actually want to have a quick look at the other video Jembley sent us. Um, so this is You Raise Me Up. Let's have a look just for a few seconds. she's placing. If she moved her elbows up just a little bit more, I think her fingers would be pointing down a little bit, but she's still doing such a good job of plucking down into her palms and she's, she's getting a really great tone out of this tiny harp. two weeks to learn the song. Wow, keep up the great work, Jembley. This is really exciting. The next person we're gonna have a look at is Anita from Switzerland. And oh, she's so active in our community. She's such a sweet, bubbly person. And Anita says, Christy Lynn has helped me a lot with her video courses. I improved in self-confidence and playing more fluently. I learned to focus more closely on fingering, as well as a lot of other tips from her and the community. I started to make notes of how I play and let myself learn at a slower but more precise pace. I think a lot of us are tempted to just rush through things without learning um, thoroughly. So that's a good achievement. Um, Anita says, now if I get stuck on one piece, I then take an easier piece or one I already know well and I just make a playing session to cheer myself up. After a while, I go back and try again. That's great. Um, the slow playthroughs help me a lot. So that's part of the, the video course. Um, I do a slow playthrough where you can play along with me. Um, and then later I follow the full speed playthroughs to play along with Christy Lynn. It's great when Christy Lynn counts me in. Oh, there's so much more than I can explain. <laughs> so I'm saying one, two, three, and she, she's enjoying that part. <laughs> 
Her latest piece, Fields of Gold, was the best lesson ever. I just followed her instruction and at the last video it just worked. The fastest learning ever. That's really cool. So she didn't even have to spend extra time afterwards going over things. Um, there was enough repetition in the course that she could just play it straight away. That's awesome. I have very strong um, eyesight problems. My left eye is blind and my right eye is very bad. With Christy Lynn, I learned very, very quick with memorizing the video courses. Oh, so she's memorizing as well. That's impressive, Anita. Good work. So let's have a look at how she's playing. So the first video is of Anita playing Hallelujah. So that is one of my pieces from back in September last year. Um, so let's have a look at how she's doing with that. So Anita's doing really well. This is actually one of the videos, I haven't seen this video before, but I know Anita has been in our community for quite a few months before she made this video. Sometimes people don't always film themselves in the beginning of their harp journey. Um, so I would have loved to have seen Anita before she even started all my video courses. Um, so that's just an encouragement to those of you who are starting out. Please make videos of your playing right from the beginning because you will want to look back and see how much you've progressed. Anita's already playing very well here. There, there are some pauses and things, but um, yeah, I think she's well on the way to learning Hallelujah really well. Um, but let's have a look at her playing Fields of Gold, which she said was her best one, and she learned it during the course and could play it by the end, which is impressive with memorizing. Anita's playing really beautifully in both videos, actually. Um, the, the, her tone is lovely. She looks pretty relaxed. Um, I really love hearing her play. Her harp sounds beautiful. Um, in the Fields of Gold one, there are a few places where there's a bit of an extra long pause. So keep on practicing with the playthroughs, Anita, so you can get that timing. But really, overall, she's just playing so beautifully. And I love her joy with playing the harp. She brings so much to our community. And she's just having a wonderful time. So keep it up, Anita. Let's have a look at Katerina's progress in her harp playing. Katerina is from Austria and she wrote a little story of how it was to learn to play the harp. I think you're going to find it really interesting. She said, I felt fairly confident that I was going to be able to pick up some harp skills through self-study since I'm already a professional violinist, but working with written instructions always seems like a bit of guesswork. I don't know if any of you have experienced that when you're trying to learn from a book without any teacher's help. She said she felt like, am I doing it right? I don't know. Um, when I saw that Christy Lynn was offering her video course for Sally Gardens for free, uh, by the way, um, when Katerina started learning, Sally Gardens was the only one that's a free sample, but soon you're going to be able to choose any one of my video courses as your uh, free trial. Um, she said, I was eager to try it out. It felt like a real lesson. The way Christy Lynn talks you through the piece, offering step-by-step -step instructions, thorough explanations and encouragement makes learning seem easy. Her reminders to review your hand position or to practice tricky bits in between seems like something a teacher would do in a one-on-one -on -one live lesson. That's so cool that Katerina felt that way because that's what I'm really hoping. I wanted to feel like each person is really learning from me. Um, I was thoroughly convinced by the free trial and subscribed to the membership soon after because I knew these lessons would help me accelerate my learning. Because of the skills I learned in each lesson, I soon felt confident enough to try out more difficult pieces. It also seemed a lot easier to pick up new pieces from sheet music now that I had a better understanding of what I was doing. So she was actually able to learn on her own, even without a video course, better than she was before. I'm really proud of having managed to learn late intermediate level pieces within six months of learning the harp. <laughs> and really grateful to Christy Lynn for her help in getting there. That is incredible. That is amazing progress to be able to play 
late intermediate within six months of learning. So I'm sure that it's really helped that Katerina played another instrument beforehand, but let's have a look at her before and after and the progress that she's made. So this is Katerina playing Sally Gardens. It was the first video course that she learned from me. So let's have a look at how she was playing. This was, I think, very shortly after she'd started playing. Do you think that's right? Yeah. yeah. It was like four days or something after she started playing. Really? Just a few days? We'll have to check with Katerina, but it's shortly after she started playing. So let's have a look at that. Look at the concentration on her face. It sounds beautiful. A very nice harp. forward a bit. Okay, great. I can see that Katerina is actually doing extremely well with her technique. She's focusing, um, she's concentrating really hard on all her placing, her positioning is looking good. Um, yeah, she's clearly very musical, as we can tell from the violins in the background. Well, we know she's a professional violinist. Um, but that wouldn't come from just learning from a book, kind of teaching herself from a book. So um, that's really awesome that she was able to, right from the beginning, play so beautifully. All right, let's have a look at how Katerina is playing now. This was just uh, two weeks ago. Um, February 2021 and she's playing yesterday so this is that I think late intermediate piece that she was talking about it's also from one of my video courses um, so let's have a look oh she looks more confident I've actually seen this video before. I saw it when Katerina shared it with our community. Um, and you can really see her confidence here. She is doing these lever changes like a professional. You can even see by the way she's sitting, actually, that um, she is just doing so well. And she's come so far in only six months. Let's watch a little bit more. so pleased when I when I see her playing like this no one would look at Katerina's playing I think even a harp teacher even me I would look at this and say she has a good like she's taken some good harp lessons she's got solid foundational technique um, so Katerina has done an excellent job at uh, I mean I, I try to encourage people to learn these things in my video courses but Katerina is really putting it into practice she's floating off her fingers are plucking down she's getting a good tone um, she seems really confident in her playing and it sounds beautiful so well done Katerina you've really made amazing progress in only six months and I think that's inspiring to all of us to keep on going with our harp playing. Really beautiful. So Katerina said, since it was only a few days of trying to learn the harp with the help of books before I tried Christy Lynn's video lessons, I'm not sure I can write a lot about the difference before and after. So that Sally Gardens was after only a few days. Wow. Wow. Okay, I both want to say she's a natural, but I also know that that doesn't just naturally happen if you don't have the right information or the right help. But wow. Just a few days. Okay, so if if you hear that and you feel like, why haven't I progressed so well? Don't feel bad, everyone's on their own journey. Katerina is clearly very gifted. <laughs> but either way, it's just amazing to see how she's stuck at it. She's put in the time, she's been, um, she's really been concentrating on making sure that she's doing things properly and look how far she's come. Well done. <laughs> After watching all these videos, I was thinking that it would have been so tragic if these people had not had the help that they needed along the way with learning to play the harp. Yes, they would have seen some progress as they're teaching themselves without the help they need, but they may develop some bad habits and sometimes those things just don't change and they're much harder to change. So it's a really good idea that they invested in their harp playing by starting to learn from my courses, especially if it's from the very beginning. But even later on, you can see it made a really big difference in motivation, in sorting out some of the technique problems, but also just learning in increasing complexity over time. It's so exciting to see all that progress. Um, so I wanna encourage you who are watching to really consider whether maybe this is something that you need 
need in your life too. Instead of chopping and changing with advice from all different places and trying to put together a pathway for your learning, to rather have somebody give you the step by step. The people in this video were saying that um, it really helped them to have a pathway for their learning, that they would start with a simpler video and then a uh, video course and then move to more and more complex ones and they could confidently know that they're learning well with all the technique help they need and um, improving their skills along the way. So if this sounds like something that would really help you with your harp playing too, I really consider you suggest joining our membership because then you get one course every month and you're part of our community where you can get all that support and encouragement that people mentioned in this video. So you can go to learningtheharp.com or you can click the link down in the description box and go and try it out. We'd love to see you there and we'd love to help you with your harp playing. And there's always hope to keep on improving and I can't wait. And if you're watching this in February, I really don't want you to miss out on our early bird pricing that we have going at the moment. We're offering the membership at 30% less and that price will last forever. We're never gonna offer this deal again. So make sure you go to harpsignup.com. The link is also in the description box and go and sign up quickly before it's too late. I don't want you to miss out. <laughs> and now we're gonna get to the giveaways. If you haven't heard about the giveaways, just briefly, everybody who signs up to our membership or the free community during the month of February is automatically entered into every giveaway, which we're having every Thursday in February. And then the big one on the 1st of March when we launch our new learning platform, we're gonna give away a cardboard harp. So that's gonna be really exciting. But this week's giveaway is of, what is it, Megan? A t-shirt. A, a practice as proud harpist kit, a, yes. a proud heart player kit. Okay, so it was a t-shirt and also a mug that say cool things about playing the harp. But anyway, people have already entered, so let's have a look and draw out a name, and then afterwards I'll tell you what the next giveaway that you can enter will be for next week. Wow! Okay, I'm just gonna, I really want this to be fair, so I'm gonna do some scrunching around and make sure that I've, what is it called, like shuffled things, no? Mix things up. Oops, can't miss these people. Okay, I'm gonna pick a name. Congratulations to Christine Sawyer. I think that's how you pronounce it. S-A-U-E-R. Well done, Christine, yay! You're gonna get that harp mug and the harp t-shirt and you're gonna be able to wear the I was gonna say wear them, but you won't wear a mug. You'll wear the t-shirt while you're practicing and, and any other time you wanna be a proud harp player and you can use that mug for your cup of tea to accompany your practicing. So um, we'll contact you via email and we'll send you your prize. Very exciting. And now I wanna show you what next week's giveaway is gonna be. So. Let's have a look. Happy so, practice kit. Yes, this is called a happy practice kit. So we thought all the little bits and pieces of stationery and things um, that could make practicing really great. So the first one is, this is my file or binder, I think people display call it. Binder. Display binder file with the plastic sleeves. Um, so it's something very similar to that, which I use all the time because I like a physical, physical music, not just digital. Then this, I don't know if you can see it so nicely here, but basically it's a set of pencils that have music notes on them and little instruments, little kind of golden instruments hanging from the side. Um, there's even a harp one and that comes in a little carry case. And then we have these things, which they look slightly different, the ones you're going to get, but it's little tabs, uh, sticky tabs that I use this kind of thing when I'm playing a lot to mark where the pieces are um, if I want to play somewhere or just find my spot very easily then I use these tabs to mark that um, oh an eraser very helpful and pencil and eraser you need to have with you all the time when you're practicing and then this is it's not gonna be exactly like this but two little bowls with some colorful little stones Oops, um, and this is for practicing, for chunking while you practice. You know how you can start with all of them in one bowl and an empty other bowl. You play your little section of the piece and then 
you move it across and then you play it again and you move another one across until you've done it 10 times or however many times you want to do with your chunking so that will help too and then oh Megan's telling me about the music stand light so I'm going to put up a little image on the screen there will be a light which can light up your music while you're playing so if you don't have good lighting in your room that will be super useful too I actually need to get another one of those because I don't have a working one at the moment <laughs> um so, so again you're jealous I am, yeah, I get a little jealous every time we do one of these giveaways. <laughs> so remember, you can join the giveaway for next week. The deadline is going to be the Thursday. Yes. Yeah. So just make sure you join soon. And the sooner you join, you actually get to enter all the leftover giveaways. So there's two more and then the harp one. Oops, there's only one more. So make sure you join very soon. You've got one more giveaway, this um, practice kit, and then the harp giveaway, which is on the 1st of March. Super exciting when we launch the new platform. And um, so the link is down in the description box. You can go to harpsignup.com and join either the membership or the free community, and you'll automatically be entered in the giveaways. So see you again next week. We'll send out an email with the time that the video is going to launch our live stream next week. And um, looking forward to seeing who gets the next giveaway. See you next week. Bye.